Dalam rangkaian acara KTT ASEAN ke-43, negara-negara ASEAN menyatakan fokusnya pada transisi energi hingga infrastruktur hijau. Dan hal inilah yang menjadi magnet bagi Eropa untuk ikut serta. Selengkapnya kita akan simak informasinya berikut ini. Masih dalam rangkaian acara Asian Indo-Pacific Forum bersama saya Safri Nansution di CNBC Indonesia. Saat ini sudah hadir bersama kami secara eksklusif Chris Peters, Vice President of European Investment Bank. How are you, sir? Very well, and thank you for having us, uh, because for us as a European Investment Bank, it's very important to be here, not only in Indonesia, but also at uh, uh, Forum uh, of ASEAN, uh, because it's a very important region for the European Union, and I'm delighted to be invited. Glad to have you in Indonesia and in the ASEAN Summit 2023. Your impression about the AIPF, sir? I'm very positive because uh, the ambitions are very high but uh, are very important. Uh, when you talk about uh, green investments, uh, when you talk about uh, digital uh, ambitions and uh, certainly also the energy transition, that is uh, not only for the region, for ASEAN uh, region, very important, but also for the rest of the world and certainly for the European uh, Union and for the European Investment Bank because we are the climate bank of Europe. Yeah. And we have a lot of experience in uh, green investments, uh, in uh, digital investments and so on. And that is the reason why I'm here to say uh, Europe uh, is in the room. Uh, we are uh, delighted to be partner of a lot of projects. And uh, that is the reason why we discuss uh, with a lot of uh, ministers, uh, with a lot of uh, members of ASEAN what we can do. Thank you, sir, for that. And as you are EIB, as the Climate Bank of Europe, how do you see the potential of green financing in Indonesia and probably ASEAN region? Uh, first of all, we are a project-driven bank. That uh, means that we need projects. And it is not uh, our task to uh, put the projects uh, on the table. But we can, of course, uh, give uh, technical assistance, uh, that's for sure. But uh, I hope that we can, with our knowledge, um, bring a lot of um, elements on the table to make this green transition and this energy transition uh, um, possible. And um, we uh, have now a very... Uh, important instrument, what we call the Global Gateway, the European Commission decided to put 300 billion euros on the table to make this uh, um, energy transition, climate transition possible. And that gives us, as European Investment Bank, as the Bank of the European uh, Union, the possibility to uh, make uh, projects possible. Uh, and that is, uh, I think, a main message that we want to send uh, to uh, all the members of the ASEAN. Uh, European uh, Commission, European Union is in the room with 300 billion euros, uh, not only, of course, for this region, but uh, certainly when you have the projects, when you have projects about uh, uh, windmills, when you have projects about uh, uh, water management uh, and so on, we can offer not only our um, uh, knowledge, but also uh, financing and assistance. Thank you so much. And um, how does, uh, this is uh, our last question, how does the EIB assess the importance of sustainable and environmentally friendly infrastructure project, especially in the ASEAN region? As you mentioned before, you're not only giving financial, but also technical assistance as well for the project. First of all, when you want to grow as a country economically, you need, of course, infrastructure. And there's a lot to do in this region, also in Indonesia. Infrastructure, when you call, uh, when you speak speak about transport infrastructure when you call about uh, uh, when you uh, speak about energy grids and so on this we can offer knowledge and we are convinced that we, you need this infrastructure for economic growth but also this infrastructure these investments must be green must be sustainable and that is another issue that we can uh, bring uh, on the table that how you invest in green infrastructure because when you invest in infrastructure Structure. It's, uh, there is no future that this infrastructure is not sustainable, is not green. And there we have a lot of uh, instruments to offer. But once again, we are here in the room. We uh, look to, uh, to a lot of partnerships with uh, Indonesia and the other members. But uh, of course, it's, it's an offer and it is um, our goal to be here and to give an alternative and a possibility to work with us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us in CNBC Indonesia, Mr. Chris, for your brief offline. Thank you so much for sparing your time in the Asian Indo-Pacific Forum. Pleasure to have you. Great pleasure. Thank you.
Dan demikian diskusi kita bersama dengan Chris Peters, Vice President of European Investment Bank di CNBC Indonesia. CNBC Indonesia Beyond Business.